for these uh, for my next caller. He's been a regular on the show for the last couple of weeks. MLB analyst Casey Stern. What's up, Case? What's up, boys? How we doing? Hey. Well, good. So you just saw A-Rod. I tell you, A-Rod looked like a 10th grade baseball player uh, looking at a, the first curveball he ever saw in his life just now. Did you see him get fooled by that curve just now? I did. I, I think he was trying to figure out his next appeal uh, <laughs> in, in the midst of uh, the curveball. You know what's funny is, is nobody actually ever talks about how bad he looked the last time we saw him on the field. So right. it would be interesting to see if... if he actually can play well while he sits there in what seems to be a joke for the game and plays it plays even through the appeal. Kurt, how, how long uh, could he play for? Uh huh. How long could he play for while he's appealing? Well, I don't know. They, well, they think that the appeal will go through the end of the season, so right. he should be able to play. Which is for just the rest a, of the which year. is a joke, a joke. It's like I mean. Anyway, now, Kurt Schilling. The, Kurt Schilling had a great line. He goes. Uh, a Rod's playing third, batting fourth, and pleading the fifth. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's exactly the case. I mean, look, you know, it comes down to the fact of as much of a joke, guys, as this is. They had two choices, and we talked about this last week. You know, the best interest of baseball clause to try and bang him and get him out for life. They could have gone that route, but they felt like they would be giving him a loophole like Ryan Braun had in the fact that, you know, then they can complain his lawyers were that it was a witch hunt, it was a vendetta, and he wasn't being treated fairly. And you don't want to have this whole thing thrown out when they've got all the evidence they have and right. let A-Rod actually get away with this. So they had to go this way, kind of swallow, suck it up, and deal with watching him the rest of the year because they want to make sure that when the evidence gets evidence get in front of an arbitrator and they actually have their say, that the evidence does all the talking because as we've talked about many times they they have him by by the cajones i mean they have alex rodriguez right where they want him he can appeal and play the rest of the year but eventually he's going to get suspended yeah a lot of people say that but he's still playing he's playing in front of me if he plays the rest of the year he's still playing at the age of 38 that's what he wants to get those stats up but if he keeps playing like this the stats ain't going anywhere but down he's one for five he should be he's one for four he should be over four he had a bloop single has not hit the ball well at all and honestly, it looked like he never saw a curveball before in his life. This last at bat. He almost turned his back on that curveball. Like he, he thought yeah. it was going to hit him and, and, as, and flinched from it. And as John is pointing out, uh, it's a good observation. And John's a guy who went to the NFL. He knows injuries. He, he's playing. He looks hurt when he runs. He, yeah, he's got a bad hip. And yeah. he probably was uh, flinching because he thinks everybody's going to hit him. I mean, I had many people <laughs> this yeah. afternoon joking about, you know, who's the first guy to throw up and in? You know, mm -hmm. can we get the Dodgers on their schedule so we can get Granky to face him? Yeah. Yeah. You know, right. He's not around anymore, and neither is Pedro, but we need somebody to throw at him. How about Don Drysdale? Right, exactly. Like, I don't know if that's actually going to happen. But here's the crazy part. He's 13 home runs away. I don't see any way he'd be able to get there, but he's 13 home runs away from a clause kicking in in his contract where he gets another $6 million added on. So just That's to the add Willie on, just record, fuel right? to the fire, if he somehow hits 13 home runs during this appeal, he'll yeah. add another $6 Because that beats Willie Mays. Correct. Right. Okay. Mm. Wow, could you imagine how personal that is, even for Willie Mays? If you beat Willie Mays, you give me another... You know, how, you know, how mad does Willie Mays have to be, <laughs> and Willie Mays' family, when he hears that? In the clause, Look, if you beat Willie Mays' coveted record that he worked so hard for, never took a PED, never knew what one was, never put a batting glove on, played in the cold weather with bare hands on wood, hungover, whatever he was doing, Willie Mays, just the most natural athlete. Guess what, A-Rod? If you beat his coveted 660 home run mark, we'll give you more money than Willie Mays even heard of in his life. I don't. Yeah. Willie yeah. Mays never made more than a hundred grand in a year. That's unreal. We'll give you six million bucks. We'll give you more money than Willie Mays will make in eighty-two lifetimes if you beat his record. It's so sad. I just. I don't even think that that's reasonable. The way that. The way that he looks physically. The way that his hips are rotating. Well, not the this way year. That, it not, just doesn't. Not this year. How could he possibly generate the kind of power? Although he did it in the minors. He had three home runs in the minors. Well, it was the minor yeah, leagues, maybe, but, uh, That's why that curveball looked like it burned him so bad. He hasn't seen a pitch like that. It's a good point. Yeah, he just right. saw a major league curveball. There's yeah. a reason those guys are the minor leagues. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you know, he could do it in BP, I'm sure. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, yeah, that's the thing. Uh, there's no way he hits 13 this year. Uh, and then, Case, you don't think there's any way he gets out of being suspended opening day next year, Oh, right? hell no. No, 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 no. Right. The, it, it, the only question is going to be, guys, how many games he gets. 
So the 214 games, I don't know if they can get that. Because remember, all of this is new. Like, the only thing that they have is, you know, one time... Ryan Braun sped down from 100 to get to 65. That's how you got the weird number. But normally it's one offense 50, two offense 100, and so on and so forth. So to try and get him for 212, 214 games, <laughs> oh, they're trying to prove instruction of justice, and they have him doing, you know, the steroid Recruitment. three years, and in HDH, which they couldn't test for, and all this other stuff. I don't see any way to be honest with you, even though I'm sure he's guilty as sin of all of that. I don't think there's any way they'll get him on the 214. So I still think, going back to where I was a few weeks ago, I still think a buck fifty is where we end up here. Uh, but I don't think there's any chance that he plays opening day next year. So next, so basically what you're thinking, next season will be out. Yes, I think, I think he will... I think he will compromise on one year. Yeah, so, I think he'll be gone for 2014. So yeah. you think he comes back 2015? I think he comes back for his money if he's healthy enough to walk on the field because as long as he is, even if he could show up at the plate, even if he can pinch hit and find a spot on the roster, the Yankees can't force him out legally. So uh, as long as he can play, they're going to be forced to pay him. So even if they want to sit him or put him in the minors or do God only knows what or even release him, they'll get stuck with the money. And don't forget the Rangers still owe him 40 million dollars more as well so uh, <laughs> oh. alex rodriguez is not going to be hurting for uh for dollar dollar well, what do you think he's what do you think he's worth right now if he's if he never earned another dime he's got to be worth 80 to 100 million bucks more, right now way more his more. first contract with the rangers was like 250 wasn't it no it no. was crazy it was no, he had a crazy but that's contract. what the yankees picked up oh okay, yeah right, right. but but after taxes and commission and everything uh i, I i'd say eh, he's probably worth 100 million bucks you know yeah Casey. Remember, you gotta you gotta make two hundred mil uh, like cl gross, gross to clear hundred mil, and he spent a lot of money. I'd say hundred mil, right, Case? I mean, what do you think about that? What do you I think? Would, I would think uh, it. I would at least. I mean, you know, sponsorships. He hasn't That's exactly right. been where Jeter and some of these other guys are. Because he's hateable. But be between all the people, as you know, I mean, when you're at that level that he's at, God only knows how many people have thrown money at him for this. Thing, that thing, the other thing we don't even know about. So uh, as long as he hasn't really paid for all of the women that have spent time tolerating his existence, uh, then I think he's still probably... <laughs> well, he went through right. a divorce, I guess, but but you're right. Probably, uh, but that's the other thing. We have to... He wouldn't be hurting if he never got paid again, ever. So, no. I mean, yeah, so. Wait, no. don't they have to pay him... Don't, don't the Yankees should, have right? to pay him even if he can't play again? Yeah. yeah. Well, they, there's, there's a way that the Yankees... See, here's the thing. The insurance stuff, it depends what you believe. I've heard people say the Yankees think that they can get out of it if he can't play again when he comes back and it's related to injury. Then other people will tell you that's not the case. I think the Yankees would fight it, John, and try and get out of the money mm -hmm. if they could. I think that's what they'd like to do. Uh, what's more likely to happen is I think he gets 2014, and then when we get past next season, I think they probably settle and the Yankees wow. pay to release him. That's gonna, well, my guess is is we never see him in a Yankee uniform after this year. He gets wow. 2014 suspension, and then the Yankees pay, let's say, half the money and eat it to just get rid of him. Wow. That would be my guess. Wow. Celebrity Net Worth, by the way, uh, dot .com has him at uh, 300 million. That's wow. pretty good. But it has me at 14 million. So there you know, go. Believe there me, I wouldn't be here if that were the case. <laughs> Where's Oprah? Where's Oprah? <laughs> exactly. Uh, mm -hmm. Well, it's interesting. I mean, I don't know. It's uh, what about the other suspensions? You think they're right on the money? Uh, you know, with the uh, the other guy's got fifty, right? Cruz. You think that's all justifiable? Yeah, I mean, you know, really, the only one that was interesting was Cruz, and his situation was interesting, guys. And we talked about this. Was you know, we don't know whether or not, uh, depending upon what you believe, what was out there was that the Rangers were really pissed off because they wanted him to fight the appeal play the rest of the season. Um, I've spoken to people from from inside that situation that say that that's a bunch of baloney, and that basically he had told the team that he wasn't sure what he would do, and that the team was in favor of trying to take the fifty game hit and get back for the playoffs. Right. Nelson Cruz is a free agent at the end of the year, so he's not going to go out into the open market, guys, and take a 50-game suspension going into next season because it'll hurt his cash. So he wants to make sure he gets rid of the suspension now, so regardless of who pays him, like Melky Cabrera got $16 million for two years, he gets his money in the open market. So the only thing that was even interesting was, is Cruz going to take the hit or not? But let's not forget, you get 13 guys, they all see the evidence, 12 of them say... 
hey, look, my God, you have everything. Take me in cuffs. I, I give up. And here's Alex Rodriguez saying he wants to rid the world of PEDs and find <laughs> the pink elephant in the room. I mean, the guy's but, a, a moron. Yeah, no, and he's just he's an egomaniac moron. By the way, it's official. The Yankees in a very crisp outing with A-Rod just, uh, just made it a final. It is 8-1. They lose to Chicago uh, in Chicago. And uh, A-Rod won for four with a, with a strikeout and a bloop single. So there you go. It could have been considered an error almost the way that they. Well, I, they when they they don't the guy, the though. guy yeah. lunged in. It was hard. It was not to hit, to hit, but a uh, blue pit. Um, uh, so, what team do you think gets hurt the most here, uh, Casey? You think it's uh, Detroit, Texas? What team takes the biggest hit? You know, honestly, I think I, I think it's the Yankees. Uh, you know, as far as they're not going well, to make the playoffs. Yeah, anyway. yeah. They're not going to make the playoffs anyway. And now instead of concentrating on why is CC Sabathia look like his arm is going to fall off and how do we fix this team moving forward? Now every day you got Alex Rodriguez, PR guys and the teammates got to pamper him and kiss his ass and deal with all that other kind of stuff. Everyone's going to be dealing more so with A-Rod than anything having to do with the baseball team. And to me, everybody within the Yankees loses. Nobody probably more so than Mariano Rivera when all the focus right now on a team that bad should be on him in his final days and now instead it's on that third baseman mr rodriguez so i still think the yankees are the biggest losers of everybody uh, right, well. hey is there is there what's the scoop on the hotel limo taking situation for a rod does he always stay in a different hotel than the rest of the team and take a special limo when the rest of the team takes a bus to the the stadium like he did today or is that a special stipulation because they th figured there'd be a big media crunch that would distract the rest of his teammates now this is this is more of of the the handling of the current alex rodriguez situation because i haven't known him to be you know barry bonds had in his contracts you know special jets and all kinds of other stuff and you know wanted a separate locker room and you know all <laughs> kinds of different things that went on Jeez. uh you know i i i, I don't want to put a rod beyond where he deserves to go i could tell you that in my own personal history covering this team being on the road seeing them in the playoffs uh, I've never seen him. Now, yeah, from PR handling, sure. But I've, beyond being just the usual John star of the team treatment of having a PR guy treat you like they're your own assistant, mm -hmm. I haven't seen any kind of a, a crazy thing with Alex Rodriguez to that level. No. Okay. Okay, well, we we got we to gotta break. But, Casey, to sum up your uh, A-Rod situation, you feel he could extend this uh, for the whole season. No way he gets those 13 home runs he needs to get the $6 million. No way he plays next season, and then the Yankees probably buy him out, so this might be the last season we see him in a Yankee uniform. That's that's how you're putting it. Yeah, and, and I would finalize it with this. If you're a baseball fan or anybody working in the game, this guy's been an insect and he should have been exterminated, and instead we're still stuck with him for another couple months. Ladies and gentlemen, Casey Stern, mm. absolutely seething, and for good reason. Thanks, buddy. All right, anytime, guys. Be well. <laughs> yeah, come yeah. back uh, come back soon. Casey Stern, well, there you go.